Hello, good afternoon. I'm Max Markson. Today is Sunday the 31st of October and welcome to our very last Mental Moments show. We're so happy that you've joined us for the month of October during Mental Health Month for the Mental Moments show. We've got a terrific show in store for you today with Benita Wainman giving us some final tips for coping in the pandemic as a care worker. Both Miss World Australia's Esma Veloda and Sarah Marshke will feature for the last time on the show as well. But before we start, I want to say a big thank you to our sponsors who've helped make this show possible. The Health Services Union, HSU, and they're currently giving away $50,000 as incentive for their workers all to get double vaxxed. And if you are a worker and you have got double vaxxed and you want to enter to win the $50,000, go to the HSU website. We also want to thank Telstra Health for their support in sponsoring the show this month. Hester, Access Pay, Lint Chocolates, who uh, are giving us loads of prizes to give away to healthcare workers around the country. We also want to thank uh, Warren Saunders Insurance Brokers and Hay House. And don't forget, if you missed even one show this month and you want to watch them, you can always watch it on demand for free at our website, mentalmoments.com.au. Or go back and watch your favourite segments and entertainers from the shows throughout the month. This is the 31st show. Anyway, kick off and kicking off our show today, we celebrate Young Talent Time's 50th anniversary by going back to the very first episode on the 24th of April 1971 with the first song ever featured, Up, Up and Away. Take it away, Johnny and the team. It's Young Talent Time, starring Johnny Young with a little help from his friend, the Young Talent Team. The John Hawker Orchestra and this week's special guest... Wouldn't you like to ride in my beautiful balloon? Wouldn't you like to fly in my beautiful balloon? We could float amongst the stars together, you and I. Oh, we can fly. Up, up and away. Young Talent Time. You know, during the next hour, you're going to meet some of Australia's finest young entertainers with super special guests, Anne and Johnny Hawker, and three contestants in our new Young Talent segment. Stick around, we're going to have a lot of fun. Don't go away. We'll find the clouds to hide us and keep the moon beside us. Love is waiting there in my beautiful balloon. Way up in the Thank you for the memories, Johnny Young, and uh, we've had Johnny Young's songs play all the way from the Young Talent Team all the way through this month, so thank you very much for that, and thank you to Ben Alcott from Damn Good Productions for all the work he and his team have done putting this show together. Well, let's get into it and hear from psychologist and Miss World Australia 2017, Esma Veloda. Hi, my name is Esma, former Miss World Australia, honours psychology graduate, Bully Zero ambassador, here to share some mental health tips with you from my education experience and from my heart. 
Before I do so, I'd like to start off by saying thank you to the aged care workers for all the work they do in our community. The work they do is greatly acknowledged, seen and appreciated. So my mental health tips today are inspired by them, but can be applicable to everyone else too. Mindfulness is a skill which can help equip us with the strength to face our mental health challenges, de-stress, improve mood and uncover what our mental health struggles really are. That's why my next tip is spend time with yourself. Meditation, prayer or writing in a journal has helped me discover what it is that I may need to improve in my mental state. This can be done before bed, in the early morning, on small breaks, on transport, rather than always aiming for technology. If we take time to listen, observe and practice mindfulness towards what we're feeling and thinking without judgment, we can easily hear what it is that we, that we might need to fix, change or do. To not be afraid of the answers or of yourself. The answers will come in silence and a great way to hear yourself is to talk about the issues or solutions with a trusted family member, friends or network, which is also so important for mental health. As a soundboard, knowing yourself means knowing and finding out what it is you can do to help yourself improve your mental health and well-being. Not addressing the self can cause anxiety and depressions because we might not know if there's something in our lives causing us to fall into these states or won't allow us to find out what it is that can help bring us out of them. Reflection and thought are mental health practices in themselves that can improve mental health. It's an active participation in taking care of yourself, which signals to your brain that we matter and it makes us feel better when we are reminded of that. This counters the anxious, depressive thoughts that we can experience. There is evidence to support that non-pharmacological methods of raising brain serotonin can improve mood and social functioning. So spending time with yourself and observing rather than judging can really help identify the cracks of where the mental health issues may be sneaking through. So you can go back out in the world and enjoy your time with others, which also helps improve mental health. Connection to self and others is key. Lastly, have faith. We know this is not impossible to find light at the end of the mental health tunnel because we've seen stories and we've heard of others make it through the most challenging times in life. In the end, it's up to us to adopt this mentality. Things can get better. How? That is where hopefully you'll be able to tell me too if you choose to find out. Just because we don't see a way out or don't see the solution doesn't mean that there isn't one. Having faith and trust in life and ourselves will push us to keep going so we can be present when the solution presents itself. How can we stay so positive? Again, the tip is to think greater than what we feel. Remind ourselves and seek help when we need it, whether it's for advice, a soundboard, or someone to just listen to us. We know we need help or we know when we need to do something when our mental health is declining. That is the signal, that's the sign. We can reinstill and learn to have faith by surrounding ourselves with people who love and care about us. We can immerse ourselves in education and learning, engage in activities we love, even if we don't feel like it at the time. And by helping others. We may not always feel like we can help ourselves, but we can always help someone else. This reframing of thinking will help reorient and steer our minds and psyches towards faith so we don't forget it. As Nelson Mandela said, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Thank you so much for listening to my tips and I hope you're able to take something away from today. Practice self-love, practice appreciation and gratitude because we all deserve to be mentally healthy. I like the Nelson Mandela quote. If it, it'll all be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Uh, thank you, Esma, for all your contributions on the show throughout October. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Right now, we're going to go to Benita Wainman, who's a former nurse with tips on coping in the pandemic as a care worker on the front line. Hi, everyone. It's Benita here from Road to Success Hypnotherapy. And I've done this small um, recording just for you nurses who are still working and maybe are finding it very hard to come to terms with whatever's been happening. So we know it's been very, very challenging times just recently. And as a nurse, we're used to challenging things, right? People coming in unexpected, stuff happening on the ward, um, getting very busy when we thought we were okay, that we were actually good at timing things. So we're used to having things happen. 
The fact that COVID has come along and made things extra worse, well, it's just one of those things. Every time that I was in charge of the ward, particularly if it was going to be a challenging day and we knew that there was going to be things happening that maybe weren't easy to deal with, then I would always say, okay, let's close our eyes, take a deep breath and think about why we're here. And everybody would laugh. They'd say, okay, we're here for the money. Yeah, not right, eh? If we could actually just do something for money, we could do anything. But why we do it is because we're caring, compassionate, loving people who want to help. So let's think about that. You're there to do a job of compassion, caring, and just to be there for some people. It's been really bad, okay? It's been really bad for people to be locked in, to not know what's happening the next day or the next. But you know what? We've dealt with this so far, we've come so far, almost two years into this, and who'd have thought it would have happened, okay? But now we're starting to get vaccinations happening, we're starting to see people um, expect to, um, to have to deal with this, rather than just sitting there not knowing what's happening. So my technique for you is before you even get to the ward is to just sit in your car for a couple of minutes or if you're on the bus or on the train or where you're actually coming from, if you're walking to work, just take a minute or two to congratulate yourself, to say, well done, you've actually been doing such a great job and today will be no different. Whatever comes your way, you will deal with it because that's how we are. That's how we've come to actually be in the situation we are, is we are going to deal with it. And we're going to make people feel comfortable and cared for and that somebody really is there for them, the support that they need. And when you do that, you feel good about yourself. You feel good about what you're doing. So just congratulate yourself on the great job that you've done so far and that we're going to do in the future. And this thing will clear and it will go away and people will just get better and better at dealing with whatever comes along if it does. So just realize that you're doing an amazing job, that you've chosen this for a reason. And I'm here to help, if you need help, just call out. There's so many people who want to help you to do what you do. So just know that you are an amazing person doing an amazing job. And I applaud you. Bye for now. Great tips, Benita. Thank you so much. Sarah Marsky will now sing for us for the last time on the show for this year. She's uh, the current Miss World Australia. She's also uh, a, she was, played rugby for Russell Crowe Souths. She's play, she currently plays uh, AFLW, that's the women's uh, AFL game. And uh, her twin brothers play for, roost, for the Roosters. Anyway, she's a wonderful woman. She uh, helps and looks after young disadvantaged children. And today, she'll be, she's also a singer. So today she'll be singing, If I Ain't Got You. Take it away, Sarah. Hi everyone, my name's Sarah. And I'm Ricky. And today we will be singing If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys. And the reason I picked this song is because Alicia Key is someone I absolutely look up to in the music industry. So I hope you love it. Some people live for the fortune Some people live just for the fame Some people live for the power, yeah Some people live just to play the game Some people think that the physical things define what 
things within and I've been there before life's just a pool so full of the superficial some people search for a fountain promises forever young some people need three dozen roses and that's the only way to prove you love them hand me the world on a silver pattern and what good would it be? No one to share, no one who truly cares for me. Some people want it all, I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby. Massive shout out to all the aged care workers out there. Hope you're staying safe and all the best. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Very much. Wonderful, Sarah and Ricky. Thank you both very much for all your performances throughout this month. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you all to our sponsors, viewers, health and aged care workers around Australia for tuning in for Mental Moments 2021. We hope to be back with you next year. Take care. God bless you all. God bless all the carers. And until then, stay safe. I'm Max Watson. It's been a pleasure to be part of the show. See, you, see us anytime at mentalmoments.com.au. Now over to Johnny Young and the Young Talent Time to sing us out for the last time this month. Signing off. Cheers. Two, three, four. Oh, that's nice. Okay, now remember we've got to sway, okay? Oh, lovely. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you too.
Australia. <laughs>